Hey guys, I'm Zavane, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Where we last left off was we, uh, was, <laughs> was we were basically helping out some people. We were giving cures to the folks that are in Whitechapel. Uh, we did kind of like a sort of semi-cleanup situation with uh, with whatever was happening. And then we head back to the hospital after dealing with all the, all the mess that we've made. Um, I did look up how to get the water for this plant. Yeah, because it's been sitting here for like the longest time. I'm a little disappointed by the fact that they had this plant in here, and it's like, it irks me, it bothers me that this thing is still there, and you can't really put any water to it, and it's just pissing me off sometimes. Um, but yeah, we leveled up and everything. We are now level 19 now. We're getting closer to the level that we are. Uh, it's getting closer to the level that I would want to give to, uh, so I can get to um, Nurse Crane. And try to take her down because I'm very I'm I'm kind of frustrated with the fact that she's not been like taken down yet. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah, they're all locked because I haven't killed the people, the owners of those items, of course. If I embrace those particular owners, then they would probably open up for me. But I haven't done any of that, and I don't plan on doing any of that. Even though it's a shame that I ru ruined the uh, achievement for myself, because <laughs> because the achievement requires that you don't kill anyone, and I already killed Clay, so it's just like, that kills my run, basically. But, uh, it's what it is, unfortunately. I'll keep that as my sort of playthrough of this game. Though I don't feel like I would ever play this again for, for on my own. I don't know. I don't feel like this game is... I don't feel like it's tolerable to keep it playing at like a point unless I'm going for like a negative run like a like a kill all run but kill everyone run but like I don't want to do that because it just feels like there's no point in it either because it's like making everything a lot harder for me basically I don't know like the whole game itself I feel like is designed to make it hard no matter what like if you become if you're going for the good side it's tough to like uh, tough to get like XP to get yourself strong enough and then on the other end, like, if you, uh, do everything negatively, like, you're just trying to kill as much people and get as much XP off of embracing, then everything in the world will be harder to fight. So it's like, I don't, I mean, it scales with the player's choices, which is Jonathan, old weird. chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. All right. Yeah. So I'm talking to Swansea because he has a quest for me, apparently. So I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Mm. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. <laughs> but with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Of course. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. I mean, we're kind of like a vampire. Actually, no, I kind of feel like it's a trap. That's what I would say. I think Lady Ashbury has been captured and somebody else is telling her to do it, to, to call me to that area because we've been causing trouble for the, the Vampire Club, maybe. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Oh, uh, for, uh, I, I didn't finish my thoughts <laughs> earlier with the plant. Um, the plant, yes, you, you're required to get this last region, the rich, the rich district, uh, that we're heading to with, uh, Lady Ashbury. Like, we had to get to that point in order to be able to get water for the, uh, the plant. It's basically an item, apparently, in the world that you just need to pick up, and it specifically says something about, like, plant water or something like that. Uh, and you just use it on the plant, and you should be good for the achievement, I think. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I was just kind of curious, and so I had to read it. I, I had to read Have it. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. But she's on her own, so that makes this ten times uber difficult for me. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? 
Where are they? There are only a few of us. Most others would not speak to you. Mm. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. Makes a lot of sense. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. Why did he ask that? I'm wondering. I wonder why uh, Jonathan would ask that particular information. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. Need me to help? How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. Damn. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Hmm. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Even have people they who are innocent. closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. They definitely are. All right. So that's it. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. But wait. I like how, uh... Oh, so I see. I like how Swansea's getting stuck in the wall right there. He was just trying to find his way to get to his bot that he needs to go to. His AI couldn't figure it out. So I see. So the exclamation mark on Swansea was basically not a quest given or investigation given, but more so to the fact that there's information about the story we're going through that he uh, has for us. So yeah, we went white. So we need to make some medicine for these folks, I believe. I have no head medicine. That's my biggest problem. I don't know where I can find head medicine. Oh yeah, I forgot to. I need to give her. Oh god, I forgot about that. I, I how. <laughs> Shelshun is literally the one with a with a cold now. After me going to bed, <laughs> she just randomly gets it for some reason. Uh, yeah, I got no head medicine yet, so I'm hoping to get head medicine soon. I'm I'm not actually entirely sure. I haven't looked it up yet, which I should have to figure out like where the heck is this head medicine thing is. Like I'm really pissed that I'm still like not so sure where the medicine for those head stuff is. But, we're done with talking to Swansea, uh, we got our level that we needed, we're only at 145 XP available to use, but that's not enough to power up anything mostly, so we're just gonna head on our way and get to Lady Ashbury's place again. Which we kinda did get close to, but we didn't end up like, we didn't end up like really like buying anything from that, unfortunately. Perhaps I should... Any new idea or Good evening, items? Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yes. I'm wondering if he has, uh... Yeah, we got all the information for him. I'd like to... Yeah, I want to see if he has any purple, uh... Materials, but it seems like... Seems like they will only show up every... Random event, I guess, I'd say. Like, it seems very random that they'll get it. Or, no, not random. It's It seems like it's at every end of, like, a chapter kind of thing. Where you can't just get all of it all at once you have to like go to those shops and they would be like at the end of the chapters where it becomes very useful yeah they got their medicine or they got their sickness so yeah all right we're going this way i believe i'm trying to figure out what is my best option to get there okay no 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 we gotta go south we gotta go this way any items i can pick off of i want to make sure i can get some materials and such uh, because every now and then they will respawn in certain locations, I guess. That we could just pick up and loot off of. Yeah, there's nothing down here, I don't think. Alright, moving this way. I believe there should be a lot of, a lot more Primwell guards. Guards of Primwell, like, roaming about the streets. I think that, uh, I think that if I embraced more folks then there would be less pre-win guards but more vampire types i think that's what i think which makes things a little bit more tougher i think if that is the case uh, because vampires are a little bit more trickier to handle than the guards of pre-win which i don't know 
I mean, it's a weird way of saying that I want the guards to pre-win more so than the uh, vampires, but... Okay, well... Oh, come on. Yeah, they're, never mind. There's still vampires all around. But the vampires are still weak, which is weird to me. Hi. Oh, ow. I'm just distracting them so the, the wolf can attack them dead. There we go. Now, this is like how I just killed them all for him. Got him. Blood. At least my weapon is strong enough to like handle them at least. But yeah, I wanted to kill the wolf because uh, I want I want to get that XP instead of giving it to them in a way. So that means that there's more vampires like roaming about on the streets. I'm guessing. Yeah, there's more vampires going in. What the hell? Oh, it's the teleporting vampires. Ow. I killed both of them at the same time, are you kidding me? Yeah, I need to... Nope, don't you dare. I don't know what he was gonna do. Couldn't tell. Could not tell what he was gonna do, but it looked kinda scary and <laughs> dangerous for me. Honestly, it's just mayhem on streets still, and it's insane here. Even though Pembroke even though Pembroke Hospital is like super safe usually, it's like weird. I see there's just a mix of people they just grab and burn their bodies with. Like they're just taking them off to just burn the bodies so they don't end up coming back to life to deal with. Alright, let's see the map. Uh, so we just need to take that direction up to this this way and then we should be good to get closer. But yeah, it's just it's interesting to see how the streets have changed. Meaning there's there's meaning meaningly there's more uh, vampires. There's more vampires on the streets with the guards of Prewind being like distracted. But the guards of Prewinds are higher level, which is ridiculous and annoying, but Oh, is the maker of our vampire thing coming back to bother us? Hello. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. Huh? This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Oh. I don't, I don't know about either one. None of them sound nice, I guess. I just wanted to just be like, what do you want? Rather than, I insist you be quiet. <laughs> ah, sure. I insist you be quiet. Son, do you not see? You are the healing bomb. Bomb? Healing bomb? I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now. The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. That was a terrible, like, dialogue conversation. Not because of the guy, but I'm because tired Jonathan. Of all these puppet shows. I mean, I'm not a big fan of how Jonathan's handling that situation. It's not really interesting. I mean, honestly, I would still figure out the truth even though I'm sad by the fact that I had to kill my own character- my sister, I guess. But, I don't know. More guards here. Guards are pretty one down here. Minus spell. At least the axe is doing more damage to help me deal with, like, stunning. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, yeah. Alright, cool. I'm actually liking uh, my setup so far. It's it's good to like be able to stun more with the hatchet, the axe that I'm carrying. Uh, unfortunately though, I wish I could do more stun so I could make it much more faster for me. 
but I'm hoping they allow for power tripping. <laughs> I always, okay, I like games that lets you power trip a little bit at least. Like, at least you make the effort. You make the time to let the player, like, put in the resources to, to make themselves uber strong. Uh, it's one of my complaints that I had with Assassin's Creed Odyssey where it's like they never tried to let you have power trips. Instead, they just rather make you struggle and consistently struggle. Here it's the same almost, but the difference is that there is a sense of like power tripping once you get enough of your build built up, I think. I think. I'm hoping that's the case. But we'll have to wait and see because we're not far we're we're not close to being done with the game, but we are getting closer, of course. We're probably like maybe like a few more chapters or things left to do on this map, which is the last region district, and then we should be able to like I don't know do whatever we can, I guess. Why does this place look so dangerous? What's going on, Mar uh, Ashbury? What the heck? Wait, this is the area that was uh, attacked by the, uh, what's my call it? Oh, jeez. Oh, god. I'm not- Oh, jeez. I'm low on stamina. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, mm, I don't have any more stamina. That was the bad part. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. At least we got that. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, okay, I guess. Stay down. It's the guy who, like, freaking teleports that bothers me. Yeah, it's the guy who teleports consistently that bothers me. Goodness gracious. They are a little bit tougher now, it seems. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, he's, he's still getting damaged, though. Oh, no, 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 blood, thank you. I was like, don't, don't kill him. <laughs> don't kill him through that. I need the, the blood. But yeah, these vampires are way more tougher, which... Still giving me less XP, which is really pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot that uh, Mary killed, like, that one lady that uh, we had to follow. Right, I wanted to heal up. I wanted to heal up before we move forward here. Because it seems like it's important to be very, very careful with how much we got for uh, health when we're walking into encounters. I think we're looted. I think this area's looted already, so I don't think it matters. But yeah, it would be nice to to be able to... Okay, so we just need to keep walking forward onto the left here. It would be nice to be able to like be prepared, I guess. This guy looks kind of familiar, weirdly enough. Oh. They want war. I'll show them war. Wait, Whatever what? Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Oh, I could just blast through that. Okay, that was a bit of a confusion. I don't think it was the woman's fault, though. I think that was guards. I think the guy was pissed off that guards of Prewen killed his wife or girlfriend or whatever. I think that's what happened. Okay, there is a spot here that we've never been here before, I think. So it's nice to to see something new, I guess, in, entirely. Huh? Dude, are you telling me that this thing is not openable because somebody's in there? Okay, so they're at a decent level at least. can't tell if there's anyone in there or not and I'm assuming there isn't I, I'm assuming that I can't go in there because I don't have any uh, reason to yet so we'll have to make our way somewhere else or we'll we'll come back to that later on all right I just want to make sure I, I'm going in the right direction because I'm still kind of this is still kind of new entirely for me what's going on it's like a vampire versus free wind ow I'm not hitting you dude at least that protects me, the blood-sucking animation. Wow, 
Wow, he's sucking his blood off like this. I just love how, how he's just doing weird stuff. Please don't fight me, man. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. I don't want to fight you, dude. You don't need to do this. Oh, oh, jeez. There we go. <sighs> not sure what that guy's problem was, but... At least he's not bothering me now. My goodness. This place is, like, so run down by, like, uh, the guards of Prelim. Like, they're all just being torn apart due to, like... Their sort of, like, pseudo-war here. Doors locked, that's fine. Okay, we're good on time. Let's go to Ashbury's place. Is she. Is there a place nearby here? Yeah, it's like a little bit further down. It's ridiculous how we're just fighting our way through to the space, but it's like. No, there's no ever point. There's no point of ever being quiet around here, is it? Like, they're just choosing to make it noisy as heck for me. Is that a vampire to deal with? Oh, okay, that's a new enemy type it looks like. Or some sort of thing. I don't know exactly what it is yet. It's a guy with a gas mask, so I don't know. Fancy car looking. Fancy looking car. My English is getting muddled in confusion where I'm just saying things out of place. Ooh. Gunshots. Alright, let's get in here then. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. I mean... Why wouldn't she live in a splendid house, considering how... Considering her money and reputation all at once. Also, is the doorknob in the middle of the door? I just realized that the door was looking weird. Yeah, it looks like a doorknob in the middle of the door. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. Something wrong? I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How so? How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I'm guessing he's dead. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Uh-huh. Call me Jonathan, please. Please. Call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. Uh -huh. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. What? How have you been since we last met, my friend? Oh. My sister, Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. Mm. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. No. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. Oh, so she basically is kind of just consuming the blood of the, the people who have actually fallen. So, like, if they actually die, the second they die, she already knows, then she'll immediately just suck their blood. And then that would be the the way to end their be their 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 life basically pretty quickly, but anyways no as she said, 
Jonathan's a scientist. I don't think that's scientist-y at all. Like, that's not like a scientist thing. It's more like a, a human thing to understand that, you know, we have emotions. Like, you're still human inside. It should be the line that she should have said to him rather than scientist. I just, that, that, that didn't connect to me <laughs> at all. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. Again, I don't think that I don't think that having Mary become a vampire really made it in. It, it didn't make any sense. Still, as I said, I had my complaints on that episode, which is like two episodes ago, I think, uh, or the episode before this, the previous one. I I have my complaints. I don't think it's worth having to have the sister come back out of nowhere and just stuff. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? Uh... He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage or became part of the ancient lineage i wouldn't say i'm of ancient lineage because i you know the ancestors have been gone for quite some time or the ones who are like of the very ancient lineage would be like i don't know i don't feel like that makes sense either I, i'm just hoping this this plot isn't just going to be like Right, your bloodline is all about the... Your bloodline belongs to this very ancient vampire who apparently died, but gave... And, you, like, you're, you're partly a full vampire almost, but you just haven't unlocked the ability because you didn't get turned yet, and then you just suddenly got turned. I don't know. It's some weird plot that's gonna just feel so unsurprisingly, and <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. So far, it's like a lot of plots are not, not making any sense to me personally, and some decisions I make don't seem like decisions that are like interesting to me or not interesting uh decisions that i make don't seem to connect further down the line properly sometimes and it just becomes weird but i'll give it a benefit of a doubt let's see i felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared most ancestral vampires of england were killed by the guard of prewen half a century ago hmm I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. Maybe. I mean, the guy did say I'm his champion, so I could be technically his rook or his knight, and that we're trying to def defend the king slash queen and stuff, I guess. I don't have a clue. It just feels like it's weird. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. <laughs> if we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I'm guessing she's going to lead us to the, uh, to the person who's the pillar. I must pillar. say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. Sure. I'm guessing she'll figure out, she'll tell I us who's the pillar of, having tea, sir. of the region. You can still drink tea. <laughs> Can't keep it down. But I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. I think she's gonna get killed and before she yours, tells us lady. everything. 
Like, somebody's gonna come in and attack her, and then we won't get to hear what she needs us to do. Or she finishes what Please. she wants to say, and then Call me dies. Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Wow, convenient. They kind of want me dead, I think. <laughs> well, actually, it makes sense. I think, if anything, Ashbury is probably working for the club, or she's an independent entity, and that they reach out to any vampire that knows our character to make sure that we aren't a threat to them. But who could say? Uh, but yeah, as I said, like once she's finished talking here, I bet she, somebody's going to come in and kill her or something like that, or just rush in, just like, assassinate her or something so that we don't really get to know something, I guess. But at the same time, I also think it could be the fact that uh, she's going to reveal, reveal who the pillar of this district will be. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be the case. I'm sorry if I'm talking over the, the dialogue. I just don't feel like there was much in any, any interesting much besides them just interacting about settling down for talking about information. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. Mm-hmm. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewin? They probably I doubt are. It. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Really? He wasn't, like, as strong as Mary, though, so I would probably say that, like, that really didn't make sense to me personally, that he was a powerful weapon. If anything, he was tough to fight, but he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, super ridiculous that, that made him flashy. Like, his moves weren't super flashy like Mary's was. Well, actually he was, because he did do shadow cloning on, on himself, but anyways. Why use you to contact? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Uh -huh. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. But then you're saying that, I, that they see me as a pawn as well for no reason. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help, since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself? You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Sure. We don't know how strong Ashbury is yet, so... Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. How so? Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Interesting. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. <laughs> it falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. Okay. I mean, I have no clue. So she's just saying the, like, just believe in your choice. Just don't, just don't worry about who's right or who's wrong. Because they could be lying. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. Mm. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. Oh, wait. So you're saying that the reason why the vampires are starting to run more rampant is because... Uh, we defeated Fergal, and Fergal usually was the one who kept them at bay. But now, now that we knocked out Fergal, it basically means that those vampires, the scowls, the werewolf-type vampires, 
the teleporting vampires are, are now roaming the streets a lot more because they're no longer being stopped by Virgil. That's interesting. But then that means that I have no allies to begin with in this game. Never have I had any ally besides maybe Swansea and Ashbury, but I feel like Ashbury could betray me at any point and I wouldn't be surprised. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Fair. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. Damn, dude. Very, very sexist. <laughs> so they just want men and only men. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. Eh, and he could look very young, and I wouldn't know. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals. But they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Uh huh. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. Strange, but okay. So I'm guessing there will be a sort of like tug and pull for my character to like start getting allies in the district. And there would be half human and half vampire allies or enemies. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. What? And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. I fear that the Guards of Prewen will come into this house soon because they feel like they want to attack every single... I feel like Guards of Prewen would attack any human and, and vampire types, I feel like. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. True enough. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. Mm -hmm. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. It's interesting too because I was the one who killed the Akon because the guy would not trust trust me at all even though I literally fought and killed the guys before he did. <laughs> I mean I could have easily just let them have at it but I just went in because the enemies were pretty weak I guess. The, the pre-wins were pretty weak, the vampire wasn't. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. Okay, I guess. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. Could be true. How did you survive the first hunt? She did I fled, Jonathan. Oh, never mind. <laughs> like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. I see. So she exited the country and then came back in secretly. Hmm... I mean, I, I thought she didn't exist during the first hunt, but I guess that's a thing. 
Don't know when the Great Hunt happened, but there was a Great Hunt, I guess. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. Well, you still can. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. Mm. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. No. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? Hell no. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Yeah, that makes sense. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. Interesting. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. Uh-huh. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. I feel like there's just so much dialogue. I mean, it's optional, obviously, but there's just so much hidden dialogue just to make it seem important. But I feel like none of the choices are really that meaningful. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire, but most of those fled England long ago. <laughs> Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask, was it you? Did you make me? Hell no. Oh, Jonathan, I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear I had nothing to do with it. I'm just so confused why you still ask, have this dumbass question answer. <laughs> why, why is this a, an answer to it? Just You could have just leave it as is and not have this extra line. <laughs> because it's obvious that she's not your maker. The player is not that dumb. <laughs> the player is obviously going to just... Unless you really expect the player to be bored at this point. To understand that they're never going to care about these, these dialogue choices. That you make this dialogue choice because some other person would actually take the chance to like hear that out but most people just don't want to care about like asking redundant questions that don't make any sense considering the guy who keeps telling us our, our maker character the guy who's like in this red weird like smoke thingy mabobber that's just like the guy's literally has his most of his looks in front of us when he showed up for the first time and second time like, he looks exactly like with horns and all that jazz. She does not have any of that. It's clear, and it's a guy. It's not a woman who did anything to it. It's so goddamn clear, and why are you asking stupid questions? Why is this an option? It's just like, why? You have no idea at all? Ugh. You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. Huh? All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. I don't think we'll ever know unless we find it ourselves, I think. Or until we finish their the, finish the job for the maker vampire guy. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, huh? you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. And by that point, you will be dead, and I would not be surprised, or you would be caught of some sort. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. He, she just said- I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. Why would you ask redundant questions again? When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I do think that whoever... Like, if I was in the, the, the conversation for this, like, if I was to sit down with 
whoever designed this like part or wrote this part i'd say chop like maybe a good percentage of these uh, conversation lines because again some of them don't need to be necessary you don't need to answer all the questions unless it's really going to play a big role in the choices we make later i think that's another big problem is like having it be truly optional by like a letter on the side or uh like another conversation elsewhere with another person who actually just knows somewhat some of the information but i think that it's like revealing too much in like this two style dialogue and then layered with another two dialogue choice inside of it just makes this dialogue run too long for no reason i feel like i want to thank you for all your support and your help my lady could you do me a last great favor and call me elizabeth i should be honored my lady <laughs> then it is settled Finally, some good news in these dark hours. What? Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. Wait, How what? thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Okay. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Eh. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. Hmm? I'm confused. Are you saying that she's very panicky? We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Uh, are you telling me there's romance in this? <laughs> Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Cheap, cheap romance. Ugh. Also, I still don't know why why you open the door like that when there's no doorknob clearly on the door. There's no doorknob in that particular position of the door. <laughs> it's like in the middle of the door. <laughs> it's just like big fat doorknob in the middle of the door and still opens and... Look at that. The doorknob is literally in the middle of the freaking... Look, and the F is literally on the middle of the door. Unless that's actually a bug. Shadow cabinet, meet Ascalon Club's leader, yeah. Like, unless that's a bug, where the doorknob is not in the right position, I'm just solely, sorely confused how the doorknob is in the middle of the door, and they didn't really think that it's... I don't know, it's kind of weird. I guess it's a bug. Like, somebody, somebody in the department was like, forgot to... Somebody in the, the art department was like, forgetting to put the doorknob in the right place, and it's just ended up getting glued onto the middle of the door instead like it wasn't rigged right or something like that maybe i don't have a clue it's just kind of weird to see the doorknob in the middle of the door anyways thank you guys for watching uh hope you guys in the next episode whenever you mind so hope you guys have a great amazing day good night to one of watching this we're running over time uh my apologies that dialogue just runs on and on and on and on i chose to do all the options because i want to know what they all have to say Obviously, it's more like for me to, to listen through it, but also for you guys if you're watching the video to kind of see what the dialogue would have extended itself to. I mean, obviously, you guys got the luxury to skip over it by brushing through the video, but for me, I don't have the luxury to do that, unfortunately, as a player. As a player, I feel like there's just too much lines to it. Worse than it is that it's just sometimes redundancy or just information that just doesn't feel like it's serv servable for now. Uh, as part of the the mainline journey or the mainline quests but obviously that could have been again like put off to the side somewhere like a document or a uh, i don't know an audio log i guess that this game should have had some sort of like uh some sort of like technology that's like plays an audio or some sort i don't know i mean if they're vampires i feel like vampires could totally have some sort of advanced tech to record themselves on a record or something like that <sighs> Yeah, because I think there would be a record or something like that, like a little spinning record. But anyways, point is, I'm done with this episode for now, and we'll move on to the next one to hopefully meet with the Escalon folks. I don't know if we're going to meet anybody from the district yet, so we'll figure that out in the next episode. The next episode. So, Roz, out.